Now, Flare is a purpose-built blockchain with a vision to solve the challenges that have constrained innovation in our industry. It has been engineered as a high-performance, decentralized cross-chain platform that delivers a set of native open protocols which are secured by the network. These protocols serve as the foundation to build interoperable and composable applications. In essence, Flare is built to help the blockchain industry scale by enabling digital assets and on-chain information to flow freely. From a technical perspective, Flare is a layer one blockchain network utilizing the Ethereum virtual machine, or EVM for short. Flare offers two core native protocols. The first is called the Flare time series Oracle. This protocol delivers highly decentralized time series data feeds to dApps on Flare. Currently, this includes digital asset price pairs. The second protocol is the state connector, which acquires information from other blockchains and the internet. This data can then be used securely, scalably, and trustlessly with smart contracts on Flare. Together, these protocols allow developers to create an ecosystem of robust and decentralized interoperable applications, connecting everything. Let's first look at the Flare Time Series Oracle, often referred to as the FTSO for short. It is a highly decentralized protocol for safely retrieving external time series data, such as cryptocurrency price pairs for use on Flare. It takes data at three minute intervals from an independent network of data providers who are incentivized to deliver accurate information. Now let's look at the FTSO system in action. Independent entities who are known as data providers are required to harvest and collate individual price pair data for a set of cryptocurrencies from exchanges. They then send this data to Flare by signing a transaction containing all this information. The FTSO system on Flare then computes a price estimate for each cryptocurrency and makes it available for any user or application to request the data they require. This data can then be used for any number of use cases, such as asset prices in a decentralized lending protocol. In this process, each data provider submission is weighted by its stake and any stake delegated to it by any Flare holder. This creates a representative reward system that reflects the community's trust in a particular provider. It enables an incentivization system where all stakeholders can receive a share of rewards. Now, rewards are based upon the data provider's submission and how close it is to the computed estimate. There are two ways that Flare community FLR token holders can participate in the network. First, they can wrap their FLR into WFLR and delegate it to FTSO data providers. This enables token holders to directly contribute to the safety of the system. Delegated WFLR tokens remain in the user's wallet, which enables them to earn rewards in the FTSO system while using their tokens for other purposes. Second, by holding FLR tokens, users are eligible to participate in network governance and vote upon land proof proposals with the wider community. Now let's talk about the state connector. The state connector enables information from both the blockchain and the internet to be used securely, scalably, and trustlessly with smart contracts on the Flare network. It does so in a decentralized and secure manner, which can power a wide range of interoperability solutions, which in turn will enable developers to build applications that are multi-chain or cross-chain. Developer will be able to access the value, liquidity, and the information of multiple ecosystems through a single deployment on Flare. It has been designed to be able to integrate with any blockchain without requiring a centralized third party or a code change on the underlying chain. This approach to cross-chain connectivity means there is no compromise needed between the speed and the safety. The state connector system uses a set of independent attestation providers to acquire specific information and deliver it to the Flare network. The state connector smart contract then verifies a suitable level of consensus, hence we reached 
amongst the attestation providers and their submitted information. Once approved, the data is securely reported to the network. An example use of state connector is to verify whether a transaction has taken place on another blockchain. For example, if one Bitcoin has been transferred from address A to address B, the process would be as follows. An application could make a query to the state connector to search a specific Bitcoin blockchain transaction details. Individual attestation providers would in turn search the transaction and return a true or false result. If suitable consensus is reached between the providers stating true or false, the transaction detail can be proved and reliably used by the application. Flare is a EVM compatible chain. Any application written in Solidity programming language can be run on the Flare network. This means developers can use existed Solidity coded applications running on other EVM chain and deploy them directly to run on Flare. Flare uses an adapted Snowman++ consensus protocol secured by proof of stake, which boosts the network throughput and enables lower flea and low carbon footprint for the chain. In addition, Flare's native protocol, that is the state connector and the FTSO, provide secure access to decentralized off-chain data giving builders and engineers the flexibility to create a new innovation and interoperable applications. Last but not the least, the Flare ecosystem support program provides both financial and technical support to the projects and entities within the Flare community in order to accelerate the growth of the ecosystem. Flare supports new applications, builder tools, and infrastructure supporting the network growth. Next, the bug bounty program spans end-to-end -end from protocol robustness and implementation compliance to the network security and consensus integrity. Classical client security and security of cryptographic primitives are also a part of the program. Finally, all the source code from FTSO to the state connector and the nodes are open source, enabling the community to contribute to our code base and documentation. So go and have a look at the code base of Flare blockchain. Trust me, this is just a big. We are working to bring a variety of community initiatives in the near future to match the fast growth of the community. This is all for this presentation. Thank you so much.